All right, welcome to another Sir James D. DJ video. Today I'm going to be doing 3D Mark Vantage and 3D Mark 06 using the two Fermis in SLI. And I've just got them overclocked a little bit. I mean, it's not, you know, going crazy or anything. And I'll just show you the settings I'm using real quick. Got uh, 1632 for the processor clock focus in there. There we go. And 1928 for the memory clock. And I got it at 4.4 for the processor. And you can see the voltage I've got it at right now. And that's just the on-screen display. And there's 3D Mark Vantage and 3D Mark 06 right there. So let's get it rocking. I'm pretty much hoping for a 40,000 on Vantage, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. So, let's boogie. Pretty damn good score so far. I hope this doesn't crash. <laughs> yeah, everybody's been wondering if I am going to get water blocks for these things um, I don't think I will I, I really don't feel the use for an, adding another loop um, especially because I know I'm not going to have these you know I don't even think I'll have these for a year I mean, once the dual fermies come out I mean that's going to be it because two cards seems to be my my thing so yeah I don't think I'd bother spending another 150 bucks on a hydrocopper yeah right there 5870s would get down to about 27 during that splash a little bit of artifacting not too horrible yeah, it's really cool. EVGA provided a overclock scanner, and it shows you what kind of artifacting you're getting as you start to overclock. They haven't released a voltage tool yet. I'm always kind of wary about those things. So I'll let others be the guinea pigs on those before I try it out. <laughs> Alright, new calico. Yeah, the end of this test is usually the one where I always freezes if any of you guys have the the EVJ 295 still try to compare your scores with mine I mean obviously you might not have the 980X but if you do if you got a similar setup um, I'm really curious as to whether you know if these are more powerful and by how much than the 295s. Yeah, you can see the temps getting into the mid 70s there. Eh, it's not horrible. Okay, here we go. Here's the jet part. Now I've seen tri SLI get up to about 200 frames a second here. I had 200 at when I was running tri fire. And we top out at about well, 150. Alright, we're going to go through some CPU tests here. Not going to go too crazy through these. I can remember with my 920, I think the top I got through there was around 4,400. So that 980X is destroying that. And I got it knocked up to 4.4 gigahertz. We'll go through the physics. Jeez. Unbelievable. I'm not even going to bother disabling physics. I mean, you can do that on your own. 
if you want a comparison between this and the ATI, go ahead and disable it. Now this matrix test, it just, it ran through like that. I mean, God, I remember that used to take a while. And the Liberace test, of course. Now the ATI kicks NVIDIA's ass on this one. It was getting up to a 500 with the ATI cards. No idea what significance that is, but... Hey, Liberace loves it, I bet. All right, score time. 40,000. Nice. 40,908. Boy, that CPU score is rocking. All right, we'll go through some 3D Mark 06. Just to say I did it. <laughs> Again, look at the SLI. I mean, this isn't very GPU oriented in the least. I mean, I don't think any of these tests max out the SLI. Well, let's face it, it is from 06. Canyon Flight, the gamer's crack. I love this test. It makes it makes everybody feel like they got a kick-ass system. <laughs> it's the gamer's ego boost, is what it is. I mean, at no point should anybody be getting under 100 frames a second. Well, I shouldn't say that. I did hit 86 in there somewhere, but... Yeah, there's parts in this where you can get up into the four or five hundreds if you got a decent setup. And you can see the temps up there in the upper left. I mean, given we're only running at, you know, I think it topped out at about 80-some percent usage for the cards, but yeah, the temps are staying pretty decent. 31196. All right. Boy, I am so curious to see guys running four-way SLI. So, talk later.